answer the question whether I believe Bob to be lying, exaggerating, or telling the truth about the money that he was losing with Terrence Crawford. To me, the evidence is more in support that he's probably exaggerating and it's more about him demeaning Crawford than it is about being accurate about what was going on in his business. Why and the other thing about that whole situation is that even though he said all of those things, the man was was still, you know what I'm saying, steadily talking about making that Josh Taylor fight. Over and over. You know what I'm saying? And even to this day, before the, before the whole lawsuit thing came out, he still was talking about Crawford versus Taylor. So to me, the evidence supports that he still wants to do business with Crawford for some reason. And, and the thing about it, when you talk about the, the money lost or whatever the case may be, the, the fact is that when they gave Crawford that extension, when they gave him that, when they restructured that deal, people don't restructure deals on hope. They restructure deals on evidence that supports what they're doing. So that clearly they had a track record of profit. And then they looked at them, they crunched the numbers and realized, OK, with based on the numbers that we we've seen thus far, this is an acceptable guarantee for us to give this man projecting out what we should continue to do. So unless Crawford's numbers just dropped off, I, I don't think that they they were losing the kind of money. I don't think they lost money at all, but I understand people believe what Bob said. I don't think you it's not a good business model. Regardless of what kind of agreement you had, Terrence Crawford was just one guy. It did make sense for them to continue to do, put on fights with this guy if they were losing the kind of money that Bob Arum is telling you, me, and everybody else they were losing. Other, and, and we've seen Bob Arum put Mikey Garcia on the shelf. We've seen him put Gamboa on the shelf. And, and countless other guys that were still under contract, and they had to sue him to get out of their contract. So it's hard for me to believe that he wouldn't have put Terrence Crawford on the shelf to, to stop Luke, stop the bleeding. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on, hold on. Let me read a couple of Super Chats, man. <laughs> uh, salute to Dirty Red for the Super Chat. He says, okay, Leonard, the expert account, how much revenue do they get in advertisement? What about food and beverage percentages at the venue? Okay, so to answer D-Lo, D-Lo, Dilo, why would it why would it make sense? Like you said, why would it make sense for for um why would why would Bob Aaron be uh lying on and him losing all his money? Why would he first of all, why would he say that? And second off, if he's supposed to All right, Bob let me Aaron, answer that. Bob, Bob, Bob Aaron, no, 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 because I didn't I let you speak, so you got to do the same thing. Wait 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 wait, 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 before y'all cook, let me read the super chat. Dirty yeah, red. If it's just basic math, they wouldn't pay the real accountant so much money. They would have just hired you already, fam. It's more than what we all know. Okay, so so so, so, D, so D -Lo, so tell me, we have Bob Aram, this big time promoter who promoted Floyd Mayweather and Muhammad Ali. Why would you, if you're a businessman, it's the man still in a contract. Why would you speak down on your fighter? Because you're gonna lose more money, so now you're gonna turn fans away. Why would you do that? Number one, See now. And number and number and number two. If that what the what we have, if you if 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 this guy's not a big time fighter or he's a big time fighter, it doesn't matter. Why would you be speaking bad against him? Uh, That's what I'm I saying. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. What you're saying doesn't make sense, bro. It makes and perfect again, sense. You, it ain't gonna make sense if you don't want it to. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and ask you the first what question, you mean, bro. You just, but that doesn't make. Why, Let me ask Bob you a question. You, did you ask me a Bob question? Aram is, Bob Aram is ninety something years old. At this point, he's gonna tell the truth about some things. And when you just when you do your, when you do the math um with the numbers and all that, it makes sense. All you gotta do is do research on your own end, and you'll find it to be true. Eddie Hearn just came out and said it. We can't offer this guy this this high this high guarantee that he's looking for. He said he said great fighter, but we can't offer him that because he's not worth that. That's what I'm telling no, you. No, you gonna let me answer the question? You gonna answer it for me? No, well, hold on now. I, listen, G Lo, when you spoke, what did I do? I was quiet, right? I couldn't answer. I wanted to interject. You just asked understand? me two questions, and by no, the time you, you get done, me, I'm gonna forget what the question was. I, I made two statements, bro. You made some statements, and I shut my damn mouth. Now, come you on, you now. just asked me. You said one. You said question one, question two. But can I and then when I started saying, answering, though? you just talked can I, over. Can I finish what I'm saying though? Because I ahead, you, you asked me some, you made some statements, and I couldn't even respond. So what I, what I'm what I'm saying is, explain why Eddie Hearn, another promoter, again has no ties to Crawford, nothing against Todd Crawford. Why would he come out and say that? 
he's a great fighter, but now he he can't not but he can't guarantee him these high purses that are what he's looking for. Which would uh, mean you and one more thing, which would mean that what he's been Crawford's been getting guaranteed now is too high. But go ahead. You telling me what the man mean instead of just at, let me answer what what go I think ahead, about you know, what he said. Go ahead, bro. Come on, man. Okay, so the, I'm gonna answer your last question first. All right. So Eddie Hearn, the same Eddie Hearn who came out and said that Spence and Crawford is a 50-50 fight, and that people are crazy around here talking like one guy is hitting shoulders over the other, etc. Eddie Hearn, when Eddie Hearn said what he said, um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out one of the reasons pretty pretty quickly why he would say that. Eddie Hearn doesn't have a welterweight fighter in his stable that it would make sense for him to put it in the ring with, Ter with Terrence Crawford. He's even said that he, he even said if he had Virgil Ortiz, he would, which is who is on the zone, but he said he doesn't control Virgil Ortiz, he wouldn't put him in the ring with Crawford. And, and, and he, I mean, he elaborated, you know, he said that one or two, th those statements, and then he went in depth about why he couldn't bring Terrence Crawford on board. And he, and he said all the other things you said, but people took one part of it and just left it at that. Eddie Hearn was very clear and concise about why it makes for for his company to uh, sign Terrence Crawford. And, and, it's, and, it, and it makes sense. I mean, all of the welterweight fighters are either with Golden Boy, top rank, or PBC. And we know PBC is welterweight heavy with the top, the guys that are considered the top. 